Hello, my name is Trent Mulligan of Avocation Systems, and today we're talking about component video distribution. Joining me is Richard Reisbick. Richard is an engineering, design, and manufacturing expert who's been involved in the audio video distribution industry for over 24 years now. Welcome, Richard. Great to be here. So, Richard, today we're talking about the future of component video. There's been a lot of talk this past year about what has been referred to as the analog sunset in reference to component video. Can you clarify what that term uh, came from and what it actually means for us? Well, it comes about with a license agreement that the Blu-ray player manufacturers sign. And it, it, in 2011, analog video must go down to standard resolution. And in 2013, analog video will come off of Blu-ray players altogether. Now, that only affects copyright protected material. There is a congressional order in place to prevent any other equipment from having to go down to standard resolution video. So Richard, with that being said, what's the future of component video? Well, first some facts. Uh, component video cannot do 3D video. It is a true th digital format. There are also 327 million television sets in this country, of which 64 million of them are high definition televisions. But of that, 51 million of those people watch standard definition television, Interesting. leaving 314 million standard definition television viewers. Mm -hmm. With those numbers, you can see that component video will be around for a very long time. Absolutely. So should dealers be skeptical of installing a component video distribution system these days? No, they should uh, always future-proof their installations and uh, think about what's required for the next five to ten years. And they should always ask their customer if they're interested in 3D video. And they can use the same wiring for both analog and digital video. Mm -hmm. There is a cost premium of of 100% digital video though. And the current digital formats may not actually exist five years from now. Right. And with that being said, component video will be around for a long time because when all these other methods might change, component video can still operate. Sure. Well, thanks Richard for shedding some light on where component video stands today in the marketplace. Oh, my pleasure. For more information, tips, expert advice on audio video distribution, check out these sites.